The move to the launch pad ahead of our Artemis I flight test, discussing priorities for national space activities, and cargo and science head home from the space station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On the night of August 16th, teams at our Kennedy Space Center began the approximately four-mile move of the Space Launch System or SLS rocket and Orion spacecraft from the Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Pad 39B in preparation for the launch of our uncrewed Artemis I flight test. The rocket and spacecraft arrived at the pad the next morning. Artemis I is the first in a series of increasingly complex missions to help us establish a long-term presence on the moon. The mission also will serve as a stepping stone to sending astronauts to Mars. Artemis I is currently targeted for launch no earlier than August 29th. Vice President Kamala Harris recently met with the National Space Council at the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland, California, the official visitor center for our Ames Research Center. Aerospace companies at the event had the opportunity to display and share their work with the Vice President. The Vice President, who serves as the chair of the National Space Council, also made a speech in which she discussed upcoming priorities for national activities in space, including strengthening public-private partnerships and the benefits of space exploration for all. On August 19th, a SpaceX Dragon cargo resupply spacecraft left the International Space Station and headed back to Earth with more than 4,000 pounds of supplies and scientific experiments for NASA and others. This was SpaceX's 25th commercial resupply services mission for NASA. Another asteroid has been added to the two-visit list for our Lucy spacecraft. Lucy's science team recently discovered that the smallest of the mission's Trojan asteroid targets, Palame, has a moon. With this discovery, Lucy is now on track to visit a total of nine asteroids, one main belt asteroid, and eight so-called Trojan asteroids, a previously unexplored population of asteroids that lead and follow Jupiter in its orbit around the Sun. Our Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia recently helped teams of U.S. college students launch their technology experiments into space. The experiments were launched on a Terrier-improved Malamute sounding rocket to an altitude of about 91 miles before descending back to Earth by parachute. The investigations were flown through the Rocksat X program, which gives students the experience of building experiments for spaceflight. A quick note about an upcoming change for NASA television. NASA TV programming on Galaxy 13 domestic satellite is moving from Transponder 11 to Transponder 15. Currently, both transponders are active, but distribution of NASA TV programming on Transponder 11 will end on Monday, August 29th. For complete details, please visit go.nasa.gov transponder. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.